Welcome to the Expedition tutorial video. In this video, I will show you how to clean up address and services objects. Let's preview the tasks in these steps. We will fix invalid objects, remove unused objects, and merge duplicate objects. First, we will navigate to Dashboard to review the project statistics. Start with invalid address objects. Let's double click, go into the invalid address object. Example here, the address objects are invalid due to the CIDR block is zero. To fix the address object, we will need to change the CIDR block from zero to 32. Before proceeding doing that, let's go back to the address panel. If there is a red dot in front of the object, it means the object is not being referenced by policy. And if you confirm you do not need to use those objects in the future, you can then click on the red dot on the right button to remove the unused objects. This will remove all unused address, services, and text objects. Let's go back to dashboard to review the statistics. As you see now, we do not have any invalid address objects. Let's move on to duplicate address objects. As you see, those address objects are duplicated with same name and value. You will review them and to determine if they can be merged. To merge them, we will right click and select Merge. Merge by name and value. Please note, ghost objects may not be merged. Ghost objects can be a. Objects that are hard-coded IP on security or net policy. In this case, we can convert objects into actual address objects, and in such case, we would be able to merge them. B. Address objects referenced in firewall config that are from Panorama push config. When those objects are ghost, for safety reasons, they cannot be merged. That's moving on to the service objects. First, we will check on invalid service objects. Example here, ICMP is flagged as invalid service object. The reason being that PanOS only supports TCP and UDP as service protocols. ICMP is one good example of service that PanOS supported as application. So we will right click and select search and replace to find the objects and policy that reference the service object. Here we find two security rules that reference the service objects. So we will click Add to Replace and click on Replace, select Application, ICMP, the two options here, first one, split rules when needed. What it does is after we replacing the service object with application, if the original rule contains more than one service port, it will separate service port based rule and the app ID rule into separate rule. Second option is it will remove the service from service group after we replacing the service object with application. Click replace all to replace service object with application. After that, we will click the green dot to recalculate on use object. Go to dashboard. You will see this invalid ICMP service object is now on use. So we can click the negative sign to remove the object. There are custom app ID snippets for ICMP you can import to the project to be used when defined security policy. Let's revisit the dashboard. Alright, we do not see any invalid or duplicate address service objects. You have completed this module. Please move on to the next module. Thanks for watching. <music>